Hi, I'm uh, Dan Kaganovich, and uh, I was born actually in Estonia, in Tallinn, and uh, my family lived there until uh, I was 10, and then we moved to the U.S., so my parents still live actually in Bloomington, Indiana. I went to high school in Indiana, and then I went to college in Boston at, at Harvard University. I graduated uh, from Harvard in 2001. And I uh, then did my PhD at Stanford. I chose to come to Israel uh, because I felt like here I would get the opportunity to work with the best uh, students. And also because here I would have all of the resources uh, to do uh, what I set out to do in my scientific career. And that's really the most important thing. Hebrew University, uh, when I was looking for a faculty position, uh, Hebrew University offered me uh, the ideal um, starting package, um, both a lab of my own and the equipment that I needed. Um, and of course, for our lab, we have very specialized equipment needs. We do um, very high-end microscopy, which requires equipment that is incredibly expensive. Uh, a microscope that we use runs around a million dollars. And that was uh, foremost among my considerations. My lab works on um, protein folding and aggregation, which is both a very, very basic cellular process and a process that has uh, profound implications for uh, many neurodegenerative diseases like Huntington's, Alzheimer's, uh, Parkinson's disease, and uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, or ALS. Basically, in a nutshell, it has to do with the fact that everything that happens in cells happens because proteins do it. And all of protein function is based on protein structure. Uh, proteins have to have the appropriate three-dimensional shape or structure in order to do everything that they do in cells. And as a result of simply the stresses of life, um, and also very interestingly, as a result of aging, proteins have a tendency to become damaged and lose their appropriate three-dimensional structure. And this can cause them to start to stick together or clump together and form what we call aggregates. And this process of aggregation is both what causes uh, so many of these terrible diseases like uh, neurodegenerative diseases is a prominent example. And it is uh, what we study both on a basic scientific level and uh, of course we're also interested in uh, studying this process in more complex systems. Hebrew University um, is the best university in the country and it has the best students. And when you're starting a lab, the most important thing are your students. You're nothing without the people who work in your lab. Um, you know, I have uh, ideas, or I'm supposed to have good ideas, I write grants, I think about the problems that we do, but it's the students who do the work and also it's a back and forth between uh, a group of different people who are all working together but have slightly different specialties. Um, so Hebrew University was the obvious choice for that because uh, it's very clear that the students here are, are among the best. In general, the way that I've set up my lab, my office is both my office where I work but also uh, a student room. So the students are always invited to eat lunch here, have coffee here and hang out here. And I think that's a very good way of uh, removing some of the distance between uh, students and, and a mentor. And uh, the coffee machine, of course, is the centerpiece of that because everybody comes here to have their coffee in the morning or in the afternoon. Well, what I think I would like for people to take away um, from this video is the idea that investment in research in Israel, at Hebrew University especially, pays off. Um, of course it seems like these things cost a lot of money, but they bring returns that are far in excess of, uh, of the money that we invest in it. Setting up a world-class lab here will pay dividends for years to come. We will train future Israeli scientists, both in the academic sector and in uh, the private sector, uh, we will make uh, great discoveries that will lead to uh, medical innovations and also a much better scientific understanding of scientific problems. 
um, and it's just a very good investment.